Now you see the only thing about Red Dead 1, it's a, very jarring because now is the time when I would like to open up the wheel and get a pack of cigarettes and smoke a cigarette. It's the most jarring thing about playing Red Dead 1 after Red Dead 2. Nuka Love did it that way. I, I, I insist it. I feel like it's better that way, but the gameplay changes is the hardest part of it. But if you play Red Dead 1 first, you might say, I don't, maybe, you maybe you won't like it. But Red Dead 2 is like undeniably good. I haven't met a lot of people that at least didn't enjoy it, you know? Only Grouches did not have fun with Red Dead 2. Oh, Mr. Marston. How are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, Come you on. didn't tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only would I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. John's definitely laid back. He's definitely fulfilled Abigail's wish of settling down. All right, I'll his attitude. These parts. His attitude is so different now. All right, I, I, I guess I'll run to my horse. I'm so excited to race. And we're going to take money from a lady. Whoa. Easy now. On the count of three. Three, two, one. You're fucked, Bonnie. One, go. I trust you're not going to be a gentleman about this. Nope, you're not no, Jack. Not at all, Miss McFarland. I'll wait for you to catch up. Let's go. Are you saving the best for last? I bet you're starting to oh. regret your brave words, Miss McFarland. Oh no! My fault. I'm not! Try to stay with me now! Come on! I have got you now! No you don't! Oh no you don't! The horses are a lot yeah. harder to control in this game though. That is true. Nuclev had such a hard time with that. How you doing back there? Yeah. Oh! Where are you going? Would you like me to slow down? This is gonna be close! It will be. Woo. You're not as bad as I thought you'd be! Thank you? Oh yes I do! I got, I, I got this. I got this. Come on. 
Oh yeah. It's Jover for you, Bonnie. Slow down. Shit. That was fun. Sure. You know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. Except getting yourself killed again. Hmm. Now, the game says go visit Marshall, but then they put the Bonnie mission right in front of me. Relax. Relax. Ah, oh, Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Miss McFarland. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> Hop on up, Mr. Marston. Well, Scooch! You... Bruh! You see, I'm trying to be nice to the lady. I was ready to say prick, mind, followed really by like bitch. Moving. It's okay. It's alright. We be nice to the lady. <laughs> You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss. I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. Believe me, I, uh, I have this problem. You present solution. Well, fuck I you. Think it's funny I found you dying fuck you, Nuka Dodd. Fuck you. Town. You have a strange sense of humor. Well, you must admit, it's an unusual start to a friendship. I didn't realize we were friends, Miss McFarland. Oh, please. Now who's being funny? Listen, I know that business with Williamson is your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us, and I don't think you're a bad man. A little stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul. Get the fuck out of the way. Awaken snake. I appreciate your concern for us lesser mortals, Miss McFarland. I really do. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. I have a small holding up in Great Plains. A farmer? Yeah, and I'm the Queen of England. And at what point during your day of hunting down outlaws do you find time to raise chickens? Only been at it three years or so. I guess I'm kind of new to it. You're telling me? Hey, that, 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 that's up. this farm of yours right now? Uncle. Well, he's not my uncle, as far as I know. Just an old dog who's as lazy as a lizard on a hot day. Kind of fell in laboring under the delusion that age brings wisdom. Uh, sounds like the perfect person to leave in charge of your entire livelihood. We go way back, and I didn't have a lot of choice. Lumbago. Back there, if I was you. That's what I'm trying to do, Miss. You know, Red Dead 2 does morph pretty well into Red Dead 1. There's not really How much well for you retcons. Know New Austin? I don't. We talked about coming down here many times, but never made it. 
Who's we? Me and the folks I used to used to work with. Yeah, New Austin. The last real outlaw country. Where the old ways still hold true. Do a man wrong, he'll shoot you for it. Do a man right? Well, he still may shoot you for it. But at least you have an idea of what's right and what's wrong here. Dear, oh dear, Mr. Marston. What dreadful novel did you get that romanticized drivel out of? Those days are long gone, if they were ever here at all. According to Paul, those days were just people shooting each other because they lost the cars. We'll be lucky if our ranch survives another five years. Businessmen are the new cowboys. How are you today? Common misunderstanding. Debunked. Bonnie says, nah, no. I promise you this was not the place to go either. There was no West Freedom Tahiti. Just ideas. That would get you nothing. So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not. But it does okay for us. What does Manhattan look like at this time of year? The most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. Howdy. I get such like weird uh directional. You see, I thought I came in from uh from this from this end. Which means the doctor is over there, but the cut but oh. Okay. I know where I am now. I thought the the towns mirror the towns mirror each other very well. And I get confused. I I love Valentine though. That's the greatest town. Talk to a doctor and purchase some medicine. Hello, friend. Finally come to get that bullet out your leg. Uh ribs. Any meds, laudanum, adrenaline, or pills, come see me. Bye. Thank you kindly. I heard them golf take How good it is to see you. All right. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once, and the little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take the stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. But I do have access to a horse. Oh, maybe not. No, I probably still do. Tactically, it's not John's horse. Now, once again, headshot boom boom. You don't need the best weapon. Well, what are they offering? Howdy, friend. Business is what keeps this country great. Uh. Thank you. So long. All right, let's go see the marshal. Yeah, marshal. John Marston. I got that stupid fucking song stuck in my head. I love my Jose and my Jose love me. Wow, I'm still not quite PC. Excuse me. Hey, 
Hey, you got a visitor. <coughs> Thank you, criminal. <laughs> Shut up, you. And what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. I did. I did. <laughs> yeah, I did so. Why? I, don't I guess because know. we're both in the business of the law. You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come on, what? You, you getting cute with me, boy? What's going on here? I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Oh, no. Put your gun down. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Talk like he's not even here! Sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. Mr. Johnson, sir. And you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Remind uh, me of Cleet. Party fucking whore. <laughs> what are you doing here, Mr. Marston? <laughs> Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Gotcha. Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister, and I'm here. Doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon need shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. All right, tell you what. Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. It's like that? Break jurisdiction? You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. You know, he wears the same... Not the same vest, but... Come on, then, Marson. Follow me. That's like the vest, uh... The deluxe... Vest. From Red Dead 2. So who are we the looking red for? front. Bunch of two-bit hoodlums. Led by this fella called Walt. Goddamn road agents who prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers and armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the reins these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. The way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folk. That's an interesting approach to law enforcement. I do what I can, Mr. Marston. We ain't the government. There's the dumb rat bastard now. Let's follow him. Let's see what kind of hole he crawls into. Let's go, Marston. I've been after that son of a bitch for months. Go! 
God damn it, he's on to us. Get after him. I'm getting after him. Things aren't what they were. Yeah, I'll catch up. Don't, don't, don't you worry. Come on. Let's go, Marshal. Stay with me for Christ's sake. I'm well, coming. As bad as you say he is, why don't we just beef him now while we got the chance? Because that ain't how the law works. Is that right, Marshal? And alive, he can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's the man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of Tell that to Agent Ross. He'll be telling me what I need to know. Walt's gang's been growing fast. How long's easy money for easy work? Jola Spring, Gap Tooth Ridge. These boys get around. Walton's a start, but there's plenty more where he came from. Pleasant's house? Whose house? Easy. Word's house. The Word's house. All right. Looks like we got company, boys. I want your stealth. Damn. It's like, bam. <laughs> oh, boy. We'll work our way up this hill. It do be a little spaghetti. I got you covered. Move up to that wagon. Behind the crate, Arson. How? I do love how there isn't as much going on on, on the HUD in this game, and I can really see, uh, Everything else. Who's that woman you brought with you, Marshal? What is it because I got semi long hair? So much recover, huh? This woman knows how to shoot. I wasn't expecting that. And you know what I did? I tried to tackle him. <laughs> I pushed B trying to tackle him. <laughs> I was too afraid. All right. Time for redemption. Hey. It'll be trial and the rope for you. Hey yo. Not a bad shot, Mr. Marston. Red Let's Redemption. Be next time you're in town. I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. Double. Good. Oh. Yeah. All right. Where's uh, my horse at? Armadillo. Okay. Okay. Um, back to see the marshal, I guess. Come on. But again, tr try to take a moment just to smell the roses, yeah? Hello? 
Hello? Gotta use your imagination a little bit. This game's older. It's older. Yeah? There's much treasure here. You want map? I retire. Here, take map. You earn it. Thanks, mister. I can, uh, use a little luck. I can tell this is a 2010 Rockstar game. All right. Let's go. All right. Hello. Howdy, mister. Hey, mister. God, I miss Arthur. I really do. Rockstar did the impossible. They made a better character than John Marston. I remember going into Red Dead 2, people said, Arthur, no one wants to play as Arthur. Let us play as John. I want to be John again. Ha! Out of the turntables. Woo! They're going to mod Arthur into Red Dead 1 now. I look forward to the mods, actually. I think it'll be really cool, because they've done, they've done a lot to, like, Remastered GTA 5. Now Red Dead 1 will probably get the same treatment. I'm trying to port the game into that new Austin map from Red Dead 2. Something. I don't know. Or use the assets of Red Dead 1 to mod it into Red Dead 2. Ooh, that could be pretty cool, actually. Way that I can see my money. There's a war horse. Faster and stronger than normal. What is this treasure map, by the way? It's a uh, hang. There's a noose. There's some rocks. There's a tree with a noose. And some rocks off in the distance. And if you look at the map, I have no idea. The first place I'm thinking about is like... Uh... I have no idea. <laughs> no idea. Oh, I see. Wow. That means there's something in it for me, yes? You got anything interesting, friend? Cause I need the ammo right now. The Undertaker. The Undertaker! You're gonna go one on one with the Undertaker! I I love the Undertaker. Everyone is Getting all mad at The Undertaker for having Trump on his podcast, but I think people just need to relax and not judge someone by their political affiliation. Hello? Hello? It's Armadillo 731. People what take that stuff so seriously. Hello? It's a new line. Hello? 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 Sounds fun. What's happening? I have no idea. 
Yeah, if it's important, they'll send someone down like they did with you. Suddenly, the world is full of days. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now guys can get here from the Midwest, and they can do it in six days. Things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest goodness. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshal! Marshal! <coughs> Marshal! I've just been up in the canyon, spying like you said. I think I've seen me a couple of them rustlers. I think it was the Baller Twins and a couple of Mexicans. They up there right now? Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so yes, sir, right now. That sarcasm's most unbecoming, Eli. It's going to hold you back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. <coughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> you ride with us again, Marson? Will you help me? I will try. And it'd be my pleasure. So polite, Mr. Marston, so polite. All right, let's go. Come on. How long you been working for the government, Marston? I don't work for the government. Well, I got a telegram from some federal clowns in Blackwater that says otherwise. Look like no government, boy. I guess That's it's government. I came because it was made impossible for me not to. You sure are a tight lipped son of a bitch, mister. I guess I am. Ain't gonna dig this hole no deeper. Ain't you all proud and superior? Don't forget you need us more than we need you. Bill Williamson folded you up like an empty purse the last time, if I remember correctly. How do you know that? Jonah. Listen to your boss, Jonah. There's a good boy. Otherwise. I'll put a hole in your hillbilly head and watch your tiny brain drain out. Yeah. I'll be honest with you, Marston. I ain't for all this government interference. Believe me, Marshal. Neither am I. I try to keep the federal boys happy. I mean, we need all the help we can get. But what does a flannel mouse city boy who's never forked a bale of hay in his life know about a state like New Austin? Nothing, I reckon. All this manifest destiny hogwash. Came in a wild land. Not far now. Eyes open, boys. Is he talking about me? Everyone keeps thinking I'm some city boy. Brother. No. All right. Leave the horses here and follow me. Let's move up the canyon towards the fort. Be ready, boys. We're probably going to be outnumbered. All right. Huh. Let's see how Let's many go. there are. If we can take them alive, good. If not, smoke the sons of bitches. Music to my ears. Look out! Rustler guard! Huh. Cut them down! Stay close! Hold on. Ah, I missed. How? How? Bruh. How? How? And uh, pow. I'm with the marshal. Those boys can suck my dick. Me and you They're up there. Let's hope this goes as well as last time. My God. We'll be okay. Fuck them. There's a couple of the rat bastards. Fuck them. Looks like we got them. Just me and you, partner! Look, the deputies are making progress. Yeah? Shit. Eyes up! We ain't finished up. yet! There, bastard. That bastard won't be running. 
rustling no more. Very well, very well. They're out that camp. Watch yourself. Looks like they have some backup. All right, let's I'm go. I'm giving you one last chance to put your hands in the air. You better surrender. You hear? Clearly not. Barely not. Nice shot. You must have a real bad death wish. Oh, no. I see you. Search the camp, then regroup with Marshall Johnson. Ah, yes, the very obviously placed uh, chest is the loot. Yes. But what about the money? Hey, you told me to check. Let's go. Be careful. I think I spotted some gank. Eyes up, sniper. Eyes what? Alive. Nice and steady now. Don't leave yourself open. Anyone else? You best shoot me now, or this is over. Ah. Uh. Put down your guns and surrender! Huh! Fully loaded! Come on, Marston! I can't take them all by myself! Come on! All right. Let's get to the rest of the You board. leave me alone. Damn fine shooting, boys. Come on, let's regroup. There! There! Looks as good a spot as any. Gather around, and listen up. All right, stealthy as you can, boys. Let's get as close to those bastards as we can. Stealth? Oh, ain't, ain't no fucking way. Last time we tried stealth, it was, hey, look who turned up. And then the guy just started shooting with like straight arms, strafing left like it's Black Ops 6 Omni Movement. Come on, come on. See? Raise some hell! Oh god. Shit. Da da da! Oh! Yeah, da da. Don't make me kill you. Ah. Easy, too easy. Thanks, Marshal. We're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. All right. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Well done, Mr. Marston. Yes, well done. Now, about Williamson. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. Say that again. Well, one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. Wes Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. Wes Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was due in town last week. Oh, the narcotic and bat piss salesman who cons housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. You hear that, Marston? 
We just butchered a gang of thieves, and the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. I am so glad to be serving such a wise and respectable people. Come on, Eli. <laughs> a respectable group of people. Mind you. All right. All right. All the way out here now. Shit. Got to be something here for me. Like this chest. Money. Oh, uh, does this tent have a chest then as well? I think there's got to be. Oh, yeah. We got some chests here. Very well. They both had $14. This is $14. I said something nice. Not expensive. <laughs> or is it $7? This is seven dollars. I can't wait to replay GTA 5. Soon. We gotta replay GTA 5 before GTA 6 comes out. And that's due within a year. All right. One thing Red Dead 1 does better is calling your horse. That horse shows up. All right. Do I go to Bonnie or do I go to Nigel West Dickens? I go to Bonnie. She's closer. Come on. All right. Later. Um place Once again, I am going to try taking this game a little slower, just for the ambiance, you know? Let's see what I can pick up. Oh yeah, her ranch is right here, you can't miss it. What time is it? It's getting to be late, Howdy. but maybe not late enough. Slow it up now. Hey, you, get the daddy guy. Come over here. What? You a tough guy, Mister? I hope so. We gonna have a showdown. What? How'd you like it? I'd want it between the eyes, quick with no pain. Someone needs to teach you something. Don't some worry, respect. I'll close your eyes before any lady see you. Is that so? Listen. Listen. Tobias Weldon? I really Bonnie is watching too! Oh no! I'm here to visit Bonnie! She's right there, behind the shoulder. There she is! There she is! <laughs>